right, so on this video here, I'm going to show you one of the most powerful loops there are. It's called the for each loop. And this for each loop, this loop works only with arrays. The job of this loop is actually to go to go through an array and go through every every value on the array and process that value. Right? Go through it. We we need to go through the whole array. We don't need to tell it when to stop it will already know when to stop and it will stop when the array finishes. At the end of the array the loop will say you know what I'm done with all the information and I'm going to stop. All right. The last loop while we need we, we needed to tell it exactly when to stop and the for loop we needed to tell it. This one we don't need to do that but this one only works with arrays. So let's go ahead and let me show you how that works. Let's open our co-editor. All right. And I got this file here open, but I want to do a open on the blank.php. All right. And I'm going to call this for each. This is the for each loop. There we go. All right. So the way we write a for each loop is very simple, very similar to the other ones. All right. Let's write a PHP tags. We're going to use the keyword for each parentheses curly brackets. All right. Now, this is where everything changes. For each numbers, as we use the keyword, another keyword right in between as number. All right. So, now remember this works with arrays so this will be the array and this as will turn once the loop is inside the array we turn the each value of the array it will assign it a variable called number so let's create a variable right here and remember everything inside this curly brackets will get executed so if you're not understanding don't worry we will practice this in the application so we have numbers here and let's create an array with some values inside. Let's create, actually, let's just create numbers. Oh, there we go. 45 again. I'm just typing crazy and it's typing 345 three times. Can you believe that? And I just put in my fingers on the keyboard randomly. All right, so we have a bunch of values here. We got zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six values inside these arrays. Called, called numbers. The for each right now will jump into that numbers arrays, will get in there and assign a variable to each of these values there every time it goes around. Remember this is a loop so it will go around. So the first time it goes around, first time is right here, is on 345. So 345 is going to be assigned this number name, this name number. So 345 is going to be equal to number. So whatever we can, we want to do to that value here, we do it right here on the first time. And then when it goes around again, this number is going to be assigned to this. And then this number is going to be assigned to that, this variable. And it's going to be assigned to each of these. So look at this. So for example, if I wanted to echo our number, and I'm just going to put a string here of BR so that way I can break into a new line. And if I click here, look what happens. We went through the array and we echo everything out just by assigning it. You see that? It went in and assigned it this number right here. It assigned each of these values the variable number. So we were able to, to go ahead and every time echo this every time it went around. We echo the, num the value where the loop where was. So the loop was in number one, we echoed that first part when it went around the first time, and it was 345. Then we, when it went around again, it assigned the variable to the second value, and we printed out 397. It kept printing everything out until it got to the end. So it, it found out what the end was. With while loops, we would have to probably know exactly 
the values, the amount of values that he had inside, or use another function just to check for the length of the array. For each already knows the length of the array and saves us a whole bunch of lines of code. Actually, not a lot, a lot of lines of code, but it does save us some some extra steps that we would take to make this happen. So the for each is very useful when we want to go through an array and check on the values and print everything out or do whatever we want with those values. It will do it automatically for us, all right? So the for each is very really powerful and you will find uses for it in the future when you get a little bit more advanced to in PHP, all right? But on this one, I show you how to define a for each loop and I show you how to use one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture here. Hopefully you learned some valuable information and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.